<coughs> okay, so we talked about the setup being really, really good for a driver, especially getting a nice lean with the spine, ball position is correct, body alignment was great. The issue we had though, the club was going back, we can see this sort of lateral movement off that green line. Okay, now because yeah. of this, as we sort of get through around and get a bit more tired and fatigued, the energy to move back to the golf ball isn't there. So we sort of stay more on the back foot. So that's what I sort of pull left or big high blocky one at the right there. Okay. And if we look when we swing the golf club back on this right hand side now, we can see a lot more centered and stable. And yeah. in terms of position wise, number one, both eyes can see the golf ball, whereas this one now, that right eye is probably a bit blocked out because you've sort of mm. moved almost too far off the golf ball. Okay. Then when you come back to the ball, having moved that far laterally as you come through, the swing now looks a bit more arms as you come through. Very low hands, not much hip and body turn, okay? If we compare that to this movement now by being more centred, a lot more width with the arms. Look at the difference in those two swings there. So this yeah. right foot now is up on its toe, full release of the body, right hip, right shoulder rotating round, club finishing now up above your left shoulder. Very good position, a very efficient movement. A lot less variables and things going on that we don't need to go on, okay? We just set up in that same good position, okay? We stay over the golf ball going back, okay? And then from there, we can just unwind and rotate the body without any sort of fear or thought of it going to the right, right the way through. Whereas this one, because you've moved off laterally on the way back, you've got to get back to the ball. And if you don't, your club's going to hit the ground behind the ball somewhere here. Therefore, you might top a couple or catch them a little bit off this sort of toe end part yeah, of the club because... I've done one sort yeah, of Yeah, sort of few toey ones there. Because if you think about your head position, if your head now, so we'll say from here is, I don't know, say one and a half metres from the golf ball, if you move laterally off the golf ball, okay, on the backswing, you've now got further from the golf ball. So in the mm. top of your backswing here now, we are further from the ball with your head position than you were before. So if you don't get back to that same spot, moving away from the ball means you want to catch that toe part, as we said, which can mm. result in sort of blocky ones out to the right there with the club twist open, with the contact so get yourself in that same good setup stay centered we can then rotate a lot more efficiently so there's a lot less energy being used but a lot more energy to the back of the golf ball so it's yeah. a more efficient golf swing and hopefully because there's a lot less side to side movement you find you're using a lot less energy during the round of golf so towards the end of the round you're not going to feel quite so fatigued and less things going on your miss hits now are going to be straighter rather potentially left or right so and in the rubbish exactly losing golf balls yeah does that make sense then, Keith? Yeah, I do. Perfect. Good stuff, man.